Alrighty, Cancer, so this is going to be your reading for August 27th through September 3rd. Thank you guys so much for joining me. That's a little crooked. Alright, it's still a little crooked, but we're going to leave it alone. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Please keep in mind, this is a general reading, so it won't resonate with every Cancer out there. Um, but... If you are interested in checking out your other placements, I do have videos posted on my channel for you to watch, okay? Also, if you do want personal coaching, please feel free to hit me up. All my information is listed below. I have an instant go now where you can reach me uh, for just really quick questions, not full readings, and all of my other links and information for booking, okay? um also if you want to check out the extended version of this reading honey the link will also be down there everything that you need will be listed below so let's get into your reading cancers we're going to start off with your intuitive messages first and then we're going to hop into your love messages and we're going to see what's popping with that so let's get into it so the cards that i pulled i'm seeing some interesting things I am seeing that you do need to make sure that you are being very vocal about what you want in relationships and in your jobs. Also, with the universe, you need to make sure that your intentions are set and that you're clearly communicating with yourself, with God or whatever you believe in and with others to help you avoid misunderstandings. And also like to speed up the process with anything that you may want. Because if you don't speak up, how can people deliver, right? Um, I'm also seeing that it would benefit you if you do have, you know, some close people around you. Or, yeah, just close people around you at work or at home. To really look over whatever you're creating if you are somebody who is a creator, okay? Make sure that you're looking over any typos or any sort of issues or discrepancies within your business or whatever you're creating also have confidence in that don't be very sub self con self-conscious oh my god very self-conscious about your work you just need to show that you are somebody who stands behind what you produce okay with that, I am seeing that you will have a lot of prosperity come in with your finances. It's like the universe is just bestowing upon gifts to you. That's how it's going to feel. So really just harness in on those gifts. Harness in on those gifts. Okay. Also, open your heart to, to love. I feel like you guys may have been a little blocked to love for a little bit. Make sure that you are opening yourself up to that. Also, time management is going to be very key. You need to make sure that you're putting your priorities to the forefront and not, you know, lounging around too much if that is something that is an issue, okay? What other messages do you have for my cancers? This one's on this yeah, I am seeing that you guys are really striving for freedom, but you may feel like there's a lot of people in your energy here. You're really waiting for your prayers to be answered, and you could be even into esoteric knowledge, and you're really just trying to find uh, your grounding space. Some of you guys really need to make sure that you're meditating. If you've been taking a break from that, you need to make sure that you're really honing in on that. That's going to really bring that clarity that you need, especially if you feel like there's a lot of people in your space i am seeing that um natural body care would benefit you i'm also seeing that you may be taking that route Alrighty. also i am seeing that again you do need to have friends that are going to look over your work also to help you because you may be a little shy and you may be a little you know needing that push your friends could really help you and give you that you know support system that backbone for what you're trying to do okay um so let's pull an astrology card and then we're gonna get into your love portion give me one astrology card for my cancers give me one astrology card for my cancers and the card that we're pulling we have fifth house creativity okay so again it's going to be a big focus on your creativity we do have the virgo card at the bottom so you guys could be dealing with a virgo but this does talk about definitely um and 
analyzing your work like i've been saying making sure that you're overseeing all the details and also not trying to be too critical of yourself and being hard on yourself there's no reason to be hard on yourself and also don't be so hard on other people around you if they are fucking up okay try to be gentle with yourself and others and also this does talk about people who are into the healing um arts so if you are a healer make sure that you're not being hard on yourself also and yeah also this does talk about health virgo energy is like health and we are going into virgo times okay but i do have the fifth house creativity also so another card of creation fifth house is ruled by leo that's that sun energy um so you are definitely going to be focusing on your creations alrighty so let's see what's going on with your love life give me some love cards for my cancers what's going on with their love life for august 27 through september 3rd sun moon rising and venus cancers so we have attraction what are you guys feeling we have retreat codependency and very soon and then we have pay attention to the red flags true love and release your ex at the bottom of the deck i feel like you guys are attracted to somebody in secret <laughs> you guys may be attracted to somebody in secret also you may have a very secretive relationship with somebody um and you may very much want to disconnect from the world when you do talk to this person um i am seeing that who you're dealing with or you you may have a codependency issue or this person does but i am seeing that you do need to clearly decide what you want in a relationship so that love can come in you need to also make sure that you are paying attention to the red flags i feel like you are already and there is love here but somebody needs to release their ex that's the issue so let's go into your spread Gonna see your spread cancers. See what's really popping. What's going on with my sun moon rising and Venus cancers for August 27th through September 3rd? Sun moon rising and Venus cancers. This is bothering me that it's so crooked. Guys, I'm so sorry. There we go. So what's going on with my sun moon rising and Venus cancers for August? 27 through september 3rd so you guys are coming into this week as the nav of swords so you could be watching somebody or you could have an air sign gemini libra aquarius watching you this may be a mother this may be also a taurus this may be either your mother or it may be the mother of your children but i am seeing that this person is really wanting clarity or you're really wanting to have clear indecisive thoughts okay what i'm seeing in the past i do have the four of chalices so you may have extended an offer to somebody and they were dissatisfied or somebody did that to you but i am seeing that there was a lot of illusions surrounding um something that you were or someone excuse me that you were communicating with um clarify that yeah and you had to release yourself here with the hangman in reverse and cut yourself loose but what i'm seeing in the future for my cancers for that week we do have you guys as the ace of pentacles so some new finances a new job actually i'm seeing this as a new job or a new opportunity uh, that you manifested it may be with a fire sign you may have reconciled with a fire sign here um but i feel like you may have had to leave something out in the cold uh to actually get this new start here and you have some sort of turn of luck here after some sort of break the focus and reason for why this is going on i do have the king of swords so it may have been something that you followed your intuition about somebody backstabbing you and cheating on you or lying and you were in your head about it and you were indecisive but you closed that cycle out what I'm seeing for the future, the potential outcome, I do have the Three of Cups. So you will be reconciling with somebody who you're very indecisive about or who's indecisive about you. But I feel like you put effort into this relationship and you're waiting for um, some sort of decision to be made here, okay? Maybe with an Aquarius. 
So let's do a spread on your cross watcher. If you guys want to check out the extended version, the link will be listed below, guys. Definitely check it out if you'd like to. What's going on my Cancer's cross watcher partner person that they're dealing with for August 27th through September 3rd? Ooh, okay, wait. Too many cards just flipped out. What's going on with the cross watcher? So this person may be pregnant here, but this person may want to expand and have a family with you and start something new. This person wants to be very much um, analytical about the situation. They do have deep love for you. They care about you much, but they want you to express yourself emotionally. They may be intuitively knowing about either a fire sign or you may be dealing with a Pisces or a air sign gemini libra aquarius or a fire sign but this person may know that you have multiple options here and they're remembering the past and they're also trying to um wait for things to come in for them after something that took place here okay they really want to manifest something but they're not going to just be you know emotional about it i feel like they really want to bring structure into life especially if you're dealing with an aries or an air sign they really just they want to cut to the chase okay so we're going to do a spread on your person on the other side make sure that you do join me over there and i will see you cancers in your next reading thank you guys so much for joining me make sure that you do leave a comment let me know how this resonated with you and bye my loves